Hey guys, it's Cosette and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm actually going to be doing a longer version video of a video that I posted on TikTok a few days ago and it absolutely blew up. Just to provide some backstory, I saw this video on TikTok about a month ago of this girl doing a try on haul of these shorts that she got from this online website called Kiki Kana. People kept telling her that they were actually drop shipping from Light and Box and then she ordered the Light and Box shorts and they were nothing like the real ones. But after looking at the Kiki Kano website, I have a pretty good eye for telling when something is drop shipping or not. And I was like, there's no way that they're not drop shipping these. So when I tell you I put in hours of research, I did so much research on trying to find the exact shorts. So many different sellers on Light and Box, DHJ, AliExpress were using these exact pictures, but a lot of times they get away with just using the pictures without actually having the exact shorts. So after so much searching, I found this one seller. They only had one review, but the review seemed pretty positive. And I just decided to take a risk. Each pair of shorts was around $6. Kiki Kona shorts were around $35. So I was like, I'm just gonna order three different colors. And if they're the right shorts, then that's gonna be great. I was taking a risk with this though. There was a good chance that they were gonna be complete ripoffs. And I was ready to take that L. But I found the exact shorts. So these are the famous shorts. Just by seeing them on TikTok, I thought that they looked so cute. I loved the fit, perfect for summer, and I'll insert a video of me trying them all on. When I tell you these are the exact shorts, they have even the same logo. The Kiki Kona website didn't even go into the work of customizing the logo. What I really like about these is that they have a built-in short underneath. So although these are really flowy and open on the side, they have the actual activewear shorts, which I just think is so much more comfortable and makes you feel more confident that it's not gonna fly up or something. So first I got this color, I got black, and I got this purple which I believe is listed as khaki. So I'm gonna give a general overview of the shorts and then go through some more specific questions that I was getting a lot on my TikTok. So probably the most asked question I was getting about these shorts is are they true to size? I ordered a small and I'm usually a size small and I will say that they fit me pretty well. They're definitely very snug around the waist but since they're so stretchy, it's not an issue at all. Although if you are in between sizes, I would probably size up just because since they're so stretchy, even if they're a little bit bigger, they're still gonna fit you right. Another question I was getting a lot was what does the logo say? It's a triangle and it says, I want transcend now, which doesn't grammatically make sense, but it's so small in the shorts that nobody can even read it when you're wearing it and it doesn't bother me at all. Another question I was getting was about shipping and how long it takes. Um, or about how much shipping costs. The shorts were about $6 each, and as they were all from the same seller, I think the shipping was probably around like $12 um, to California. But again, when you factor that in with the amount of the Kiki Kana shorts, it still ends up being so much cheaper. The shipping took exactly three weeks for me, which funny enough was faster than apparently how the Kiki Kana shorts are um, coming because they, they keep saying that they're, like, they're waiting for their supplier which usually if it takes that long, it's just coming from a distributor in China. So I'm convinced that I found the exact seller. People were also asking a lot about the legitimacy of AliExpress. I've used AliExpress a lot before and I've never had an issue with putting in my card info or any getting scams, but AliExpress also has a really good seller insurance policy. So if anything does happen, you're pretty much protected. I don't know the specifics of what they cover, but I have to say that I've been ordering on AliExpress I don't order frequently, but I have been ordering on and off for a couple years now and I've never had an issue, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. A lot of people were also saying, you know, order from a seller with more reviews. How do you know if it's legit if they only have one review? As I mentioned, I was taking a risk by ordering from a seller without any reviews, but a lot of times you have to order from those really small sellers if you want the legit product because a lot of the bigger ones will be just scams, if that makes sense. But yeah, I took the risk so that you guys don't have to. That leads me to my next question. A lot of people were saying, how do we know if you don't own the shop? Like, are you benefiting? Are you just like scamming us? I promise I'm just a 21 year old college student who is trying to save money. And as I said, like this had no benefit to me except for, you know, obviously scoring some awesome shorts. Um, but my page is all about helping people save money, find all these life hacks. So that's what I do. I'm just trying to help you guys save money and I'm really glad that so many people were able to score these shorts. For a few days after I posted that initial video on TikTok, I had the link on my story so that people can make sure that they're purchasing the exact same one, but obviously things disappear after 24 hours. So I'm also gonna put the link to the shorts in the description below. I don't know what the stock is like. I know that the seller had an insane amount of orders after my video. The orders literally went from 28 to I think around 5,000 overnight. But just to make it really easy, that link will be in the description below. Overall, I love these shorts. They're so comfortable and I can see myself hanging out in these, going to the beach in them, working out, 
they're just very versatile, super comfortable, and I feel very confident in them. I feel like I don't have to worry about something flying up. They stay together. I don't know, they're just great shorts. Anyway, that was my review for these shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to do a little bit more of an in-depth video on them since I've been getting so many questions, but I'm putting the link for the shorts in the description. Um, I'm also putting my social media handles in the description. If you want more links like this in the future, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm always posting those right away and oftentimes they sell out really quickly, so I wanna make sure you guys are the first to get the deals. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.